If you're looking for help fixing your Toyota automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Toyota automobile troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Fuses. Not all cars have a fuse that is connected to the starting system. But a simple check of the fuses can rule this cause out quickly. Battery. If the connections on your battery become corroded, there is no longer a connection to the rest of the car. This can keep you from starting. Clean the posts and try to start the car. Additionally, the battery may be dead. Take a battery tester and test the cranking amps to see if they are weak. If you do not have a battery tester, you can test it by jump starting your vehicle. If it starts right away, the battery is bad and needs to be replaced. Replace it and clean the connections. Ignition switch. If the battery is working, but you still cannot start your vehicle, it may be the ignition switch. Turn the key on and look for the red warning lights on your dash. If you get no lights and your battery is working, the ignition switch could be to blame. If you get dash lights, then turn the key to start to see if the lights go out on the dash. If the lights go out, your ignition switch is okay. Starter connection. Corrosion on the starter can keep the car from starting. In order to test the connection, hold a circuit tester led on the starter wire. It will be the smaller of two wires. Keep clear of any moving parts in the engine and have someone turn the key. Check the current on the starter. If the starter has current but it is not spinning, then you need to replace the starter. If the starter checks out okay, then the problem lies somewhere else. It is possible that you are getting no spark. So the next place to check is in the ignition system. Coil. Test the ignition coil with a multimeter and if it is bad, replace it. Distributor cap. Remove the cap and check to see if there is any moisture in the cap. While this will probably not be the issue, it is always good to check it for cracks or moisture. Dry it out and put it back on or replace it if it is cracked. See if the car will start. Note most new vehicles do not have a distributor cap. Coil wire. A broken or shorted coil wire can keep your vehicle from starting. Look at the wire to make sure that it is not cracked or split. Use a circuit tester to check for continuity. Electrical connections. Your fuel injection system has many electrical connections. They are connected at the top, on the intake air side, and on the cylinder heads. If there is a connection, then check it. Fuel pump and relay. Your fuel system needs to be pressure tested and if you have the equipment, then test it. Use a circuit tester to check all the electrical connections to the fuel pump. Turn the key to on. If you see a current, then it is not the pump. If there is no current, check the fuse. If you have a good fuse, then replace the fuel pump relay. 